that Brett was going to leave. The feeling was, and the feeling was that he pretty much already had an offer from you guys and that he was, he was gone. Are you surprised that while Brett was, I mean, because clearly Brett was negotiating with me and WCW, um, are you surprised Vince didn't take the belt off of him? The title, I'm sorry, the championship title? Sorry. No, because I think that we all thought Brett would be be the last guy <laughs> uh, that would say, no, nah, I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose tonight. I think there was really never much thought given to Brett doing the right thing on the way out. I'm jumping the gun here, but this is one I just, I, this is just personal, right? By 1997, Jerry McDivitt was kicking W.C. Turner's ass legally. The, the lawsuit was well underway. WCW had basically, I don't know, tell you from my end, I was, I was given notice from Turner Legal, not WCW, not Harvey Schiller, who was my boss, Turner Sports. Turner Legal said no reference, any way, shape, form, implied or otherwise to WWE or any of their intellectual property. So I, by this point, I had handcuffs on me. I would think that Vince and Jerry knew that. Why was Vin, why do you think Vince was so concerned? Do you think I was that crazy that I would just go fuck it? I don't care what the attorneys say. I'm going to do it anyway, and, and and trash the title the way we did with Medusa. I mean, what what was the concern, knowing that you guys had been kicking our ass legally over trademark issues? Well, because you'd done it before. Why wouldn't you do it again? Well, we did it. Um, before, we did it before I got my ass kicked by McDivitt. <laughs> Most people do, <laughs> you know, the, the, there was still just the, the thought and the perception of whether, whether you brought it up or not, but for Brett to walk out with the championship. Yeah, sure. You don't have to acknowledge it or say our name or anything else, but just by that picture being in a WCW ring would have been detrimental. 